Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we will continue our discussion related to waves and oscillations and we will discuss about simple harmonic motion, continue our discussion related to that. In the previous video we discussed about the loaded spring arrangement as an example of simple harmonic motion. In this video we are going to take that dis discussion a little bit forward because in, uh, in that example, we discuss single spring arrangement, okay, one spring, mass connected to it, its movement, the restoring force and all the other things in horizontal and vertical setup. In this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, two spring arrangement or multiple spring in general. Because in practical situations, uh, always you will find that multiple springs are either connected in series or parallel for various purposes. So depending on that the analysis will vary, the values will change. So here we have a series spring setup. We have two springs S1 and S2 with different spring constants K1 and K2. They are connected back to back in series. The one end, extreme end of S1 is connected to the rigid support. The other extreme end of S2 is connected to a mass which is hanged downwards and weight acting on it, the weight force mg. So here the restoring force acting on both the springs will be the same. As they are in series, the restoring force will be the same, F acting upward. Okay. So this is the basic principle of simple harmonic motion restoring force will always act in the opposite direction to the displacement. Let us say the individual springs S1, they undergo different elongations, different extensions, displacements. Let us say S1 okay, let us say S1 it undergoes a displacement by a factor Y1, S2 undergoes displacement by y2. The restoring force is fixed, constant. Because of different spring constants of the spring, that will be f is equal to k1 y1 and the same f it will be k2 y2. Okay, this is fixed. Okay, K1 and K2 is fixed. So this is the only thing that can change. The extensions, the elongations, the displacements are the only variable element here. Now the total uh, extension of the spring, if we want to consider that, for that we have to find out the individual extensions. Y1 is equal to K1 by F1. Always remember it is negative. Restoring force is always negative. So Y1 is equal to minus f by k1 y2 is equal to minus f by k2 total extension y y1 plus y2 which is equal to minus f by k1 minus f by k2 which is equal to minus f common 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 which is equal to minus f k1 k2 k1 plus k2 this okay this is the total extension now here if we want to uh, represent it in a different way, we can write it as F is equal to the total restoring force F is equal to minus K1 K2 by K1 plus K2 multiplied with the total extension or we can write it as F is equal to minus k let us call it the combined uh, 
constant for this series spring arrangement Ks y. Here Ks is equal to K1 K2 by K1 plus K2 which is the spring constant or force constant for two springs connected in series series arrangement this okay so this is the combined uh, constant for series spring arrangement so here in this case the time period will use the same equations 2 pi root over of m by here it, k will be substituted with ks so we'll substitute this value here and frequency will be similarly 1 by 2 pi root over of ks by m okay similarly this is the this is the only important thing here this spring constant combined spring constant for series arrangement this is the only thing because of this combined spring connected in series arrangement this similarly if we consider parallel spring arrangement here again we have two springs with different spring constants okay s1 k1 s2 k2 and they are connected to a single mass which is uh, suspended downwards it is acted upon by gravity downward weight which is mg here in this case the displacement or elongation both the springs as they are connected to the same mass they will undergo the same extension same displacement let's call it y so as the spring constants are different so the restoring forces acting upwards in the opposite direction of displacement that will be different okay let's call it f1 and f2 so here f1 will be minus k1y f2 will be minus k2y always remember in parallel as they are connected to the same mass so they will be displaced by the same factor y and as k1 and k2 are different so because of that the restoring forces will be different because this will give rise to minus k2y minus k1y y is fixed but k1 and k2 are different so that will be different so here the total restoring force acting on the system the total restoring force f net let's call it f only it is f1 plus f2 which is equal to minus k1y plus minus k2y which is equal to minus k1 plus k2y this so here we can write it as f is equal to minus kp y where kp is equal to k1 plus k2 which is the spring constant or for co force constant for parallel arrangement parallel connection this and here also the time period will use the same equation 2 pi root over of m by k but here the k will be kp this constant and again frequency reciprocal of time period 1 by 2 pi over of kp by m same thing but the only important thing to consider here is the spring constant for parallel connection so the difference between the single spring arrangement and multiple spring arrangements is that uh, in both the cases the things which is changing you know the important factor is the combined spring constant force constant resulting because of multiple springs connected to it together okay 
So, here if you notice uh, you can uh, we can correlate it with uh, you know uh, with electrical circuits if we can correlate it with that see it is opposite in uh, electrical circuits for series arrangement uh, for resistors we directly add them up okay in series inductors also we directly add them up but in capacitors it is the opposite so it is the same thing as capacitors in the case of capacitors in capacitors we add the reciprocals of it similarly here in parallel in uh, resistors and inductors we add the reciprocal the combined uh, ca an equivalent capacitor um, resistance and inductance it is the reciprocals that are get that get added up and in case of uh, capacitors simply it get added up directly we don't do the reciprocal thing so we can correlate it with that also but it is uh, you know for uh, the electrical uh, electronics instrumentation for those uh, students they can understand it so so this is the correlation also uh, th these correlations happen between uh, electrical mechanical systems these correlations happen so we can also do that but uh, just i thought uh, i should mention it okay so this is uh, the uh, combined spring arrangement okay multiple spring arrangement here uh, there can be any number of springs nth number of springs and it will happen in the same way 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 plus dot 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 up to the nth spring similarly here there can be n springs connected in parallel and the uh, combined spring constant it will be k1 plus k2 plus dot 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 up to nth spring nth spring constant so like that and uh, we can calculate the time period and frequency like that okay so here it is the uh, loaded springs in series and parallel okay series connection parallel connection so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much